Hello everybody and welcome to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to Lone Oak Farm here on Farming Simulator 17. So this is the second episode in a row, I know, but we've got a lot of things we have to do today. So we're not actually doing any real groundwork today. Um, we've got some little interesting jobs to do today. So first of all, we need to first of all get the head track on because we're currently sat in the footwell. Uh, there we go. So we need to head down to the store and we've collected some, well we've bought some pallets and stuff that we need to collect. Um, it should be pretty fun pretty easy job and then we also have to take down a tree so a little bit of forestry today one single tree and then we're going to plow the field and make it one big field basically um i have just driven past where i need to be i, th I thought the shed was over down so th we're going to attach this uh, gooseneck trailer here this is a pj trailer or something like that and um, it's pretty cool we can't unfortunately undo the boot hatch on this truck but of course you'd have to do that in real life so in the game we'll just have to drive through for now but like i said in real life you would uh, undo the tailgate oh, there we go i'll pull this out and show you around the trailer real quick before we head down i actually need to come out a little bit wide because we're going to hit that trailer but let's not risk it let's go around the uh corn drill here right so while we're down let me just go ahead and show you what's what so this is the pj trailer there's two versions this is a logging version which we're not going to be using today even though we are going to be putting the log onto here um this was just for bales and stuff so there we go, gooseneck into the uh, the bed of the Silverado there, the Duramax. Cool, so let's go ahead and get this thing down to the store, and I'll see you guys when we get there. Right, Curious, we have now just arrived at the store here, so looks like we're only picking up a few pallets today. And there they are actually, nicely lined up. So we've got four seed bags uh, for the next time we have to use the seed drill. We've got some uh, twine for the... let's get it turned off. Got some twine for the square baler. We don't need um, netting, of course, because it's not round bales, it's square bales. And we've also got some pig food, purely because I don't think we're going to have any pig food anytime soon. We've only got the corn part, and we need canola, which we do have um, in storage. We don't have any wheat just yet. Um, so we're just going to head around the back of here, because the place does have a bobcat. Now, I hate driving skid steers with a steering wheel, but um, it's too much effort. Or too much hassle, I should say, to get a separate control set up for these. So we're just going to use the steering wheel for now. Um, so, nice little bobcat. First time I've used this, actually, since... Um, what was it called? What was that old German map called by Black Sheep Modding? Um, old Streams, that was the one. It was the last time I used the bobcat, and it was a dodgy convert. This, of course, is a lot better, this one. And the reason I'm using this is because we've got some pretty beefy sea bags that we want to be able to pick up, although it looks like a little bit too wide, come to think of it. A little bit too narrow, even. The bag's too wide, is what I was meant to say. Um, is this even going to fit? Right, there we go. After some playing around, we've kind of got her. Right, we're going to go ahead and start loading up at the front of this. We're just going to scooch our way through here. Hopefully we don't cause too much destruction. Uh, can you? Right, let's line ourselves up here with the gooseneck trailer and will this thing go all the way to the back we've actually hit our limit here but it looks like it's gonna work sort of slid off the hooks a little bit oh no don't do that we've caught onto some invisible collisions get down you there we go yeah these bags are a bit dodgy some of the collisions are a little bit wonky but um we're on now which is the, the main thing Let's move on to the next one here. In fact, now let's go on to some of these, actually. Because I'm having issues getting those uh, sea bags on to begin with. Um, I need an adjustable pallet fork. I used to have one, but I can't remember who it was by and what brand it was and stuff. But basically, I don't have it activated on this map, so I need to find out which one it was so I can adjust it on the fly. It might have been the uh, SCZ, whatever it's called. I can't remember the name of them all. There we go. We've got the pig food. Well, one of the pig foods. I'm actually going to put it next to the seed bag because we might be able to get another seed bag in front of that one. So, there's no point in making it all wonky. Let's go ahead and put you down here. Now, it doesn't matter if we go too far on because, of course, we can slide it over with the, the next one. Right. That should do it. Let's go ahead and reverse off here. Good. 
So one thing I don't really like about the uh, handling palettes in this game, because of the dodgy collisions, sometimes you have to like scrape it off. Have you guys noticed that? Sometimes you have to scrape it off the forks as opposed to just like drive out. Sometimes it works flawlessly, then sometimes it doesn't. It's just one of those days. Um, let's make sure this is flat and straight. That one was pretty spot on that time. First time. So yeah, the uh, twine is for the square baler that we have now, which is the chrome, and it's from the straw add-on pack, in case you're wondering which mod it is. It's not a mod, it's actually the straw hot add-on. I can't remember the proper name for it. I think it was literally called the straw add-on. Let's move that camera around a little bit there. If I slide you on like so. Now please come off without a hitch. Please come off without... Why would not you go into reverse? Please go up with a hitch. That's pretty good that time. But let's get our twine. We actually have four bags to see. For some reason I was thinking we only had three. Alright, let's get you lowered down like that. Not happy with how we've gone into that, the angle we've gone into that. Let's go ahead and straighten up a little bit. As you guys may know, I'm not really good with a skid steer. I prefer using front loaders and uh, rear loaders. A little bit rusty with the old uh, skid steers. That's not good enough. We need to get you lowered down a little bit. Right, slide you on. Why is it not catching? There we go. We got them. Right, so let's go ahead and plop you. So there's three bags left there. We can put two on the back. We're going to put the twine right at the very back of the trailer. And then we can put two seed bags in front of that. And then we also got to put another seed bag on the front. So that's what we're going to do. We'll plop this down right at the back here. Hopefully, the weight of the seed bags... Well, these are pretty light, this twine. So it's not really going to make us start sliding down the road sideways. There we go. That's on. Right, so we're going to go ahead and get the, these dodgy pallet... Uh, Seed bags loaded onto the trailer, and I'll see you guys in just a second. Right, everybody, so we've now fully loaded the uh, trailer up now. Let's go ahead and quickly plop this thing back in to the warehouse. Thank you very much for letting us use it. Case. I'm assuming this is a case store. There we go. Right, so that's now done. We don't have to use that for a while now. We do have a front loader waiting at the uh, yard for us. This our actual John Deere tractor waiting. We just got to put the... Uh, Pilot fork on. In fact, I might have already done that. Right, let's get these straps on real quick. Now, let's look at the trailer a second before we carry on. Because there's going to be at least one or two British viewers that are saying, simulate, that is absolutely ridiculous. There's no way a pickup truck can carry that much weight. Don't put it out in the comment section because the Americans will laugh. These trucks here, the pickup trucks that they have in America, are in a completely different load, uh, league. Sorry, completely different league to the uh, European stuff. These are pretty much like our lorries, these uh, pickup trucks. They can load quite heavy stuff. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this back to the farm. We're gonna unload it. And uh, oh, shit, I didn't put that back see bag on very good, but never mind. It's not gonna fall off now we've got the straps on at least. Well, so like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and take this back to the yard and I'll see you guys in just a second and we'll head over and chop down a tree. Right, Cody, so we are now finished with this John Deere for now. Let's go ahead and get it turned off. Now, one thing we did forget to do on the store is get a chainsaw. So I'm going to go with my good old um, Husqvarn. I can't even remember how to say that anymore. It's been a while. Husqvarn? Husqvarn? I can't remember. So we're going to jump back in to the Silverado once again. Uh, so this should be more than enough to lug the tree. It's only quite a small tree we've got to take down today. So the wheel cam might have disappeared by now if I remember to do it because um, we're going to be using keyboard and mouse once we get there to actually control the chainsaw and stuff. Um, I wonder why we get charged $1,000 then. It was for the uh, the chainsaw. Ooh. Whoa, FPS. What's going on here? There's a bit of an FPS drop there. I wonder if it's this trailer. I seem to get FPS drops when I'm using this trailer. Maybe physics or something. I don't know. Um, so, the hard work that we had down here in the last video is now completed. It happened a second ago when I was uh, driving back from the store, which is good because now we can use the. Uh, ah, they've missed quite a lot. There's quite a bit that we need to touch up on. But there's the lonely little tree up here that we're taking down. 
it's a cool little feature. It looks nice, nice scenic, but um, it's just one little patch. So I don't personally see the uh, point in keeping it. If it was like a like a little island in the middle, then I'll keep it. But because it's just one single tree, I honestly don't see the point. Let's go ahead and stop the Silverado here. We'll get it turned off. Right, now we're using keyboard and mouse, which is uh, strange for me on farm sim. Um, we probably should take these branches off here. Yeah, okay. Well, we don't actually have any way of getting up there to take the branches off first. So we're going to do it the unprofessional way by just cutting this tree down and then cutting the uh, the extra branches off. By the way, sorry if the volume sounds a bit different on the microphone. I've uh, obviously had to move to, so I can reach the keyboard and mouse. Whoa! Stop! Okay, now we can reach the branches. So, not the professional way of doing it, but we are not professional lumberjacks. So it doesn't really matter too much. Let's crouch down here. Get that taken off. Like so. We'll probably shave the tree after. I don't know. So let's do it now. Let's just go up and shave all the ones that can be shaved. Hopefully health and safety don't walk past. You guys just have to uh, imagine that we've got a harness on. Because there's obviously health and safety is not a real thing in Farmson. Okay, so we've got all the shrubs off. Now, the ones that we're using as stabilizers currently. Oh, actually, there's a little uh, shrub here when we get. There we go. Go, get it. You can almost tell which ones are shrubs because they're like they got lower texture quality than the uh, the rest of the tree. Well, they won't let me get this one, which is strange. Oh, we got it. So we're using this one, I believe, and that one as a little stabilizer. So we can cut the rest off for now, like so. Right. So I know a lot of you guys don't actually like watching uh, forestry stuff. So what I'm going to do is time lapse this. So sit back, enjoy. It won't take too long. Uh, we've got to keep that one for now. That one's floating, so we can take that one down. Well, so yeah, I'll quickly do this, and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so we have now got rid of all the little branch off branches. Uh, we've just got the main trunk left now and also the stump. So um, obviously we're not going to be able to pick this up. We've been able to pick, uh, chop down the other branches and put them onto the trailer. Even if we, well, if we were to do it with this trunk, they'd probably be about that big from the edge. So not really worth doing. So what we're going to do instead is um, we're probably going to cut it up to like four pieces. Do I have the... Yeah, I do. So let's measure the tree. So the whole tree is about six meters. Six. Six. Six point seven. But of course, this isn't that accurate. 
Let's, let's do like, um, tell you what, let's do right click. Let's do like 2.5 meters. So we'll do 2. Oh, uh, we'll do 2.3. 2.3 meters. There we go. I'm not worried about the last digit. We're just going to use the, the first two numbers that we have there. Right, let's go ahead and right click every set. So we're going for 2.3. Right past it. Oh, exactly the same. Look at that. Right, let's go ahead and chop that there. Give that a little reset. Um, we're left with 2.0. So there we go. Three, well, two equal pieces and then that. But this is actually a little bit thicker. So we're actually still going to cut this in half just because of the thickness of it, basically. Um, let's go ahead and cut that real quick. Right, there we go. So now we just need to find a way to pick these up and put them on to the trailer. And also we need to get a, we're going to rent a stump grinder to get the stump out. Now, unfortunately, we are going to be left with the weeds. We cannot harvest the weeds, which is annoying. Um, this has always been a thing with farm sim. You can only get rid of the grass, not the weeds. So I might have to do that later on. We'll see. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of this tree, first of all. Uh, how are we going to do that? It looks like, judging by the size, we're probably going to need a wheel loader. Um, oh, I know just the thing. Right, everybody, so we've got ahead and sourced ourselves a New Holland wheel loader. Now, I have also just found out we've been going the long way this whole time. There's actually a road that goes directly from the yard to where we are, so I've been going this, the long way this whole time, so apologize for that. Um, so let's go ahead and get these three stumps put on the trailer. I have already made a trip up here in the wheel loader to put the stump grinder up here. We've got one that works with the wheel loader, which is pretty cool. Right, start off with the heaviest one. So actually four pieces of log. I just remembered we did cut the last one in half, don't we? Right, let's just go ahead and see if we can pick this up. This is the in-game log grab, and as we know, they're not the best, but we'll do our best. Uh, we should be alright with logs this size. We're just gonna hope that it doesn't roll off the trailer or um make the rest of them fall off, because that'd be pretty awkward on a driving on a newly ploughed field, but the other one's not ours, so we can't really get onto that one. Where did the log go? Oh, it's still in there. I thought we chopped the log. Uh, right. Slow and steady, slow and steady, slow and steady. Come on, get off. Ooh, nervous. That one's on. Couldn't you throw a strap over that as quick as we can in a second so they don't roll off? I have a horrible feeling that all these logs are going to roll off. I probably should have cut all the logs and started with the big ones and then put the little ones around it. But uh, I'm an idiot and didn't think about that until now. So right, we're going to go ahead and one of the logs actually moved. So what we want to do is use this to shove it back around if it will work. Uh, good enough. Right, back into forwards. Right. It's one thing we've not done in this channel for a long, 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 long time, guys, is forestry. Would you guys be interested in forestry? It probably wouldn't be an actual series. It'd probably be a video every now and then. I had a few requests to bring back, um... <gasps> no! Ugh, I knew there was a reason I did like these in-game ones. Dang it. Um... Old Man Jenkins from back on Sandy Bay, if you guys remember him. The old man that used to do small, like, get the firewood ready. I've had a few requests to bring him back. Um, that might happen one day. Who knows? Um, right, let's go ahead and pick this up real quick. I knew there was a reason I hated these uh, in-game log grabs. Right, let's pick that up. But that's as far as it closes. It really is designed for big logs only. And this is the thickest part uh, of the tree. Wrong gear simulator. Right, I'm going to do this in third person, just because I don't trust myself. I don't really want to be picking these up. Again. Right. Just reverse a little bit. Strike. Stop. No, you idiot. <sighs> well, this is going well. Right, okay, everybody. That should hold right now. Just quickly get out before it's too late. And we'll uh, get the straps on again. There we go. Don't go anywhere. See, I feel like there's a strap missing for the middle there. Um, there's another one. There's another one. 
There's another one. I believe that's all of them. Let's just quickly double check. Yeah, there's a huge gap here. Uh, might be because of the wheels. I don't know. But there we go. They shouldn't go anywhere right now. So let's go ahead and quickly... Unfortunately, this won't stay. So we'll just do it temporarily. We're going to go ahead and plop this on the trailer if we can. But like I said, it doesn't... The straps have no effect on these tools, unfortunately. So it's not going to matter anyway. We're just going to put it there for now. Let's get that spun around a minute. There we go. That sort of like bounced up from the other, from the ground then. All right, so final job to do with this tree, apart from the plowing the part, like plowing it all in, is to quickly collect our stump grinder. Now I'm not exactly sure how this thing works, if I'm being honest, because surely it should be PTO driven, but. Apparently it does work, so I'm not really sure how it works. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comment section. Maybe it just doesn't exist in real life. Unless it's... No, I don't really know. Unless it's electric. Surely electric is not enough to power this. Right, so I have the hang of it now. I was just having a little play around to see if I actually knew what I was doing with this thing. I've now got it. So, no, once again, no idea how this thing actually works with no PTO connection. But we're going to roll with it for now. See, as we're already here. Um... I'm assuming... It, I don't really know how it works, if I'm being completely honest. Right, let's go ahead and get the stump here. And it's kind of gone. It's made it smaller, at least. Go. Go. And this tree stump is now gone. So what we can also do... Um, not sure how this thing works. So what I'm going to do real quick is save. Like so. And we're going to press X, which apparently turns on plow mode. No idea what that means whatsoever. But apparently we can plow with this thing now. Right, there we Just get it lowered down. Put it into forwards. It's working. Well, I'll be danged. It's actually working. Is it going to work here? That is the question. Let me just move the camera around a little bit. Right, there's no instruction if you have this thing to you uh, to create allow fields, but it does work anyway. So just press Y if you're using this thing. Once again, the weeds will not get removed, unfortunately, because it doesn't work like that on Farm Sim. Hopefully, one day someone will be able to figure it out. There we go. There's one. So yeah, I'll have to get rid of the weeds in Giants Editor, probably. Let's get that lower down, like so. Here we go, guys. We are plowing with a wheel loader. Who would have thought we'd ever see the day? Right. It's probably not the most convenient way to do it, by all means, but it's working. So I just need to think of a way to get rid of the weeds now. I think giant editor will work, but then it'll reset all the uh, foliage. But I might be able to deal with that. Might be able to deal with that. Right. Let's go ahead. Probably two more passes left for this thing. So it saves us getting out the, the John Deere plow for something as small as this. I'm not going to bother doing the bit behind me. In fact, I'll see how big it is, but it might not be worth it. Get it lowered down again. So here we go, guys. We are plowing with a wheel loader. I wouldn't actually call it plowing. It's more like subsoiling, but... Um, so there we go. We can't get rid of the weeds yet. Uh, we can do that last little bit. It's only one tiny little bit. So first up here. Got to admit, I never, ever, ever thought I'd be plowing in Farm Sim with a wheel loader. And um, this is a pretty interesting mod. It does work with wheel, uh, skid steers, uh, three points... Um, in fact, I'll show you in a minute. It's not a mod review, but I'm assuming there's some going to be some people that have never used this thing that's now quite interested in it. It's pretty cool. There we go. Let's go ahead and get it turned off. Like so. Right, so uh, I'll show you later, actually. I'll put it on the, the Facebook page. But yeah, you can put it on three points. You can put it on skid steers. It's pretty cool. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and leave this on the side of the field right now. Last job to do today is to take... Um, let's get a beacon off in it. I'll pick this up in a minute. We're only borrowing this. It's not ours. So we need to take this down to the sawmill, wherever that may be. Right, I know where we're going. It's 
The same way on the way to the store, but at the end of the private road, you go left instead of right. So we should be able to do that real quick. Luckily, we're in the Silverado, so it shouldn't take too long. It's pretty quick. So here we go. We've got a whole tree on the back of our trailer. So this thing's been quite handy today. So we've used the Silverado for most of our jobs today, apart from uh, obviously the stump grinding and all that stuff. Right, so we've come out of the private uh, driveway there, and now we're heading left instead of right. And apparently the sawmill's around here somewhere. I've never been this way, so it's the first time I'm seeing this map. So I'm going to do it in third person, actually, so we look at the views. It's pretty good. Is that actually accessible map, or is that just for decoration? This map is so vast. That must be the sawmill. Right, I assume this is the sawmill. Is there anything around you? Is that Ian and Sons? First time being here, guys. Give me a second while I try and work out exactly what's going on. So it is a sawmill. I can see that now. We're actually a bit closer than all the logs and that have came in. Question is... Where are the actual... Uh, where are the actual logs go? I reckon it might be here. Good thing about these trailers. They're pretty much impossible to jackknife, which is nice. This little addition. Do we have to unload these manually? That would be pretty cool if so, but I didn't bring a uh, skid steer with me. Or well, the wheel loader, in fact. Right, let's turn that. It looks like we might have to uh, unload these manually. Right, so I think we actually have to do this manually. Um, we're not going to do the big ones, of course, because uh, we, we're we not Superman. Is that just for decorations? Does that actually do anything? I think this is just for decoration. Right, so I have no idea what's going on with these logs. I'm going to have to look into it. Um, I, I think this is the sell point, but for some reason, maybe you, you can only get rid of the big ones. Maybe you can't get rid of the small ones here. Maybe we'll have to turn these into wood chips, but how did that just fall off? Well, I ain't going to be able to pick that up anytime soon. Um, thank you very, very much for joining me in this episode. If you did enjoy it, please slap the thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more from myself. I'm going to find out how to get rid of these. Maybe we have to turn them into chips. I'm not sure. I'll ask, um, I'll ask Bullet Bill. Uh, so thank you very much once again. Hit, uh, hit that bell button to be part of the notification squad. I've been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.